Aliens, Dark Descent is an upcoming Alien title that was originally announced around a year ago at Summer Games Fest 2022. Since then, we have been privy to numerous trailers, showcases and gameplay breakdowns, as well as webpages dedicated to the game. So, in today's video I want to explore everything we know about the game on the final stretch to the release date on the 20th of June 2023. Aliens Dark Descent takes place in the year 2198, a story set about 19 years following the events of Alien 3 and just a few years before the events depicted in Aliens, Fired Im Elite. Set primarily around the fall of the planet Lithe, a world consumed by an outbreak of Xenomorph XX121s caused by a uprising on the planet. Marines are sent in to investigate but as seen in the first story trailer Alvarez and his squad are quickly dispatched by the Xenomorph threat after attempting to return the Tantalus Station Comstat to functioning status. Before engaging the Xenomorph enemy though, Alvarez and his squad encountered something else in the depths of Tantalus, a new threat seemingly combining aspects of the Xenomorph physiology with that of human physiology. This new threat also appears to be an incubator or storage for chestburster larval stage xenomorphs stored within the body of these individuals. Named the Guardians, this new foe presents a new danger in the universe of Alien. After this brief standoff, the xenomorphs attack and lay waste to the squad. Alvarez locks the rest of his squad who have fallen behind him with the creatures, thinking he has contained the situation. Though he quickly comes to learn that the beasts are everywhere on Lethe and throughout the base and quickly joins in his comrade's fate. After arriving on Lethe players will take control of a squad of marines as they travel around the planet after having crash landed there. Players will begin exploring it and beyond, such as the orbital station named Pioneer, which is suffering its own outbreak of alien creatures, likely due to the fact that the Whalen Utani Company or some other party is attempting to smuggle specimens off world. Another location we will be exploring will be the Marines USCM Starship to uncover some horrific new enemies and face some familiar old ones. Taking control of Mako Hayes, a Whalen Utani administrator, and Jonas as Harper, you will team up to survive the hellscape now facing you, fighting through aliens, guardians, human survival survivors, company private military contractors and synthetics. Aside from all of this, a secret revelation is awaiting to be uncovered by the squad, something of engineer origin in the dark hidden reaches of planet Lethe. Dark Descent is a real-time squad-based tactical action game, similar in ways to XCOM. It pits you as a commander of a squad of marines, who serve as your weapons against an onslaught of enemies that will be encountered through your traversal of the gameplay and story. Your squad is controlled by you fluidly acting as one when needed but also intelligent and responsive enough to know when to delegate your orders to the marines best suited for the task. Despite the top-down style of the gameplay, the game helps to keep you immersed in the world by blacking out unexplored areas and only revealing them after the marines themselves are able to view the specific location. During combat you can slow down time in order to deliver your orders to the squad with thought-out strategy and military-like precision. There will not only be a main story in Dark Descent, but there will also be a number of side quests and missions that will make gameplay far less linear and can make deciding how to spend your time and resources much more difficult, making your planning and strategy skills the most important resource you have when the odds are stacked against you. Death is permanent in Dark Descent, if Marines bite the bullet that's the end of the line for them. So be very cautious when entering an engagement or when investigating new potentially dangerous areas of the map. Dark Descent is also a persistent world, where doors you cut open or weld shut, barriers you destroy and equipment you place forever changes the map and persists throughout the rest of your campaign run. While some of this can hinder you, you can also unlock new landing sites for your dropship and deployable a PC which makes returning to particular locations easier and less dangerous. Your marines can also take refuge from the carnage of the planet Lethe by reaching your vac and taking your dropship back to the USS Ortega. Here you can level up and improve upon your squad's gear and stats using perks, abilities, and promotions in rank. Things like chitin reinforced armor can be unlocked and added to the squad as one example of the benefits of returning periodically to the Ortego for a recoup and resupply. The composition of your squad can also be changed in order to maximize the success of certain objectives and improve your chances of survival. Maintaining the resources, health and sanity of your squad will be a large component of gameplay and will require you to keep the squad healthy, both physically but also mentally. There are a number of class positions within the squad of marines you can select from. A gunner is one of the most recognizable marines of the squad, providing the team with exceptional fire support. A medic helps maintain the squad's health. Your recon unit are quick and equipped with light pulse rifle weaponry acting as a scout for the squad. The sergeant is the keystone of the squad and who can make or break the squad in the heat of battle. And then you have the Tekka, the most intelligent of the squad, resourceful and clever capable of assembling and hacking most things. 
Similar to one of its sister games Alien, Isolation, Dark Descent features intelligent AI that adapts to your specific playstyle and can begin to not only learn your patterns, but start to strategize against you. Make sure to change up your playstyle in order to not be so easily outmatched by the ever-evolving enemy. Planet Lethe has a number of locations across its surface to explore and liberate from the Xenomorph threat. There is the Tantalus Research Station, the Dead Hills, a planet-based refinery, a colony called Redemption, a local known as Farrah's Spire, Berkeley's Dock, and the Atmospheric Processor 27. But beyond just the location's planet side, you also have the Pioneer Station in orbit. There are a plethora of enemies and creatures featuring in this game that range from facehugger, runners, drones, warriors, praetorians, crushers, and the queen xenomorph. However, throughout the game there are more than just alien enemies to face. There is human survivors remaining on Lethe, willing to do anything to survive against the odds, and if the marines stand in their way, there will be blood. Rogue Company Synthetics once owned and operated by Seekson, now under the worrisome control of Wei Yu Corp, ready themselves to deal with hysterical humans. And last of all we have the Guardians. These fanatics voluntarily undergo the implantation of a device inducing a type of embryostasis in chestbursters they have been impregnated with. This slows the develop of the creature within their bodies and allows these biomechanoid soldiers to walk amongst the xenomorphs unscathed and unnoticed. Besides the mechanical apparatus strapped and implanted into bodies there appears to be more to the Guardians than meets the eye. Their flesh has discolored and along their arms there appears to be some kind of new tissue developing underneath. Is this some kind of hybridization between human and alien, and could it somehow be connected to, or a result of the engineer facility located on the planet? I guess we will just have to wait and see when the game releases on the 20th of June. If you really want to support what we do here and gain a bunch of awesome rewards, consider joining as a Project Akron channel member like company representatives, the Sith Lord 906, Lewis Perkins, Jack Fleming Jr. and Scott Jardy, or like our team members, Ronchi, Ambrosia and Vladimir Chernikov. But until next transmission, this is Project Akron bringing the knowledge and the power directly to you.